Hello, this is Oksana Bochenko with you here today, and today I have really, really special girl. So she she looks like an absolute model. I mean, she is incredibly hot and beautiful. Now, this girl, she is not only beautiful, but she is also a medical nurse. You know, that's her profession, and she is actually an American citizen already. So can you imagine the combination like that? And all these additional surprises that you will find out about her personality, how this girl can transform absolutely energy, like sexual energy, the money energy, and the type of things that she does, you will find out in the video. So let me introduce you one of the most gorgeous women in my agency, Ilona. Well, look at this gorgeous lady with us today. You know, if I was a man just for five seconds of looking at you, I would say, marry me, be mine forever. <laughs> Hi, Ilona, how are you doing? Good, good, good. Such a beauty in the studio, and she is not only beautiful, but let's talk about you. So you are in the United States, and you are an American citizen. Yeah, sure, I'm an American citizen from 2010. Okay, and uh, so you've been in the United States for what, 16 years? The first time when you came here, 16 years ago, right? 16 years ago, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, she is not naked, it's just the way the camera is set, <laughs> you know? Yeah, she got some clothes on. <laughs> you got some visual going on here. <laughs> don't touch your camera, don't touch your camera, don't touch your phone. <laughs> it's all right, we don't mind, we don't mind the visual at all. You look gorgeous. <laughs> So let's talk about you. So you are, you really have um, a very interesting blend of so many different nationalities. You are Jewish. Yeah. You, you have Polish in you. Yeah. And you are Ukrainian, originally from Odessa. Yes. It's the, most, the most gorgeous women are from Ukraine. The most gorgeous. I mean, look at you. It's like, I don't know. What, what is it? You know, I think when there is such a blend of all the different nationalities that's how beauty is created <laughs> like all these <laughs> different plants <laughs> so listen you being uh being a ukrainian woman is it true that ukrainian women are the best cooks in the world it's true yeah i'm love it cook i'm love it cook all the time it's like it's my favorite and you yeah you even you used to own don't touch your phone just leave it <laughs> you even you used to own a what restaurant or a sport bar in um in ukraine right Yes, it's like used to be a habit, but now I'm here and I'm close to my restaurant. Probably. Okay, okay. So you uh, you are traveling like between the United States and Ukraine because you have businesses in both countries, so it requires you to travel back and forth. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about um, let's talk about you. How did you even get to United States originally? Um, my father lived there, and he invited me coming together like 2000 it was like 2003 and i'm coming with the small boy he was just like 60 years old and now he's 22. <laughs> <laughs> so you had a son so he was six years old and two of you came here did your father help you at all to establish in this country or yeah my father he just like helped me for the, the just like when i come to united States, me apartment like car and say okay now you just like you have to go you have to find some work you have so you were you were a medical nurse back in your country so that's your degree and that's what you were working with and uh, so when you got here what did you start doing what uh, what type of jobs did you do oh uh the, my first work in the united states i'm going to a uh, salon it was a uh, russian salon for i make it manicure and i'm, uh, I'm starting here to pedicure so manicure and pedicure, and same time you were, yeah, because your medical profession really that you had over there in Ukraine doesn't mean anything. However, at that time when you started, you were able to work a little bit in the pharmacy because the law allowed you to work in the pharmacy. So during the day you were working at the pharmacy, in the evenings you were doing manicures and pedicures for people, trying to, you know, make their living to survive in this country with a little yeah. child. Uh yeah. I, I, I don't have a, any help from somebody else, but I'm um, asking about the help from somebody else. It's not my uh, rules. You know, yeah, of course, uh, you know, and I know this is not in your rules to actually ask for anybody's help. You are the person who is trying to figure things out. And it is just the pride of uh, Ukrainian, true Ukrainian women. You are like figuring things out, you know, so, hey, you're doing very, very good. 
So let's talk about the business that you are doing right now. That is very interesting. So let me uh, let me kind of explain what type of uh, what type of business you are. So this is really specialized aromatherapy. This is basically for uh, increasing the energy right increasing the um, uh, monetary uh, aspects so it, it is like a it is a basically a science-based type of oils and it is also increasing the level of sexuality as well yeah <laughs> I know. or something like that <laughs> so i know you don't, don't really want to talk uh, uh, much about it on the camera so but um, it is basically, it's, it, it's those special oils that, you know, open up your energy, uh, helping you with the thinking process, helping you with increase of the uh, energy of money, uh, helps with increasing the energy, like sexual energy. Yeah, yeah. Kind I, of, in the short version. Like, uh, uh, I would like to help people and I would like to help my, my future. It's like I give it my energy and the energy is going to be like uh, the um, Russian, non <coughs> it changes, yeah, the energy changes, uh, it's going to be like <coughs> we in the right way. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the woman can give, to, who, who can give it the, for man the right energy and he just like go and завоевывать мир. Conquer the world. Conquer the world, yeah. <laughs> Conquer the world. Okay, so uh, so basically what you're saying is that the woman is the one who is giving the energy to men. The type of levels that you are working in, energetical levels with, is all of the energy comes from women. So woman is a supply of harmony, balance, the sexual energy, and uh, brings the money energy to men as well. So basically your man... Whoever is going to be with you, all of these areas is going to be absolutely improved in his life. No matter where monetary level that he is at, it, all of this area is going to be absolutely improved. Yeah. It's yeah. You guarantee that? Yeah, I'm guaranteeing, yeah. Okay, so we have that in the recording, huh? So we have this in the recording that through this woman that you are looking at right now, and I promise you, she is still, she is not naked. She does have the dress on, dress on her because we can see you up to here. <laughs> and you know, when we're talking about sexual energy and everything, I'm sure all of the different, <laughs> all of the different components starts <laughs> going in the man's, <laughs> man's head. Yes, you see, yes, she does have, yeah, she does have clothes on. Yes, <laughs> she does. <laughs> You know, I'm sure any guys wouldn't mind to, you know, to go back to the previous uh, screen with seeing, seeing you without any clothes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is, uh, you know, this is something really interesting that when I, when I talk to you, that really the man gets all of his energy, all of his drives, uh, whether it is sexual level, uh, sexual energy, the harmonic balance and everything, he gets it from the woman. So if the woman knows how to manage it, and apparently you are doing it on a scientific level, you are the woman who can practically create any man out of anybody. So that he will be like, Ooh, and strong and everywhere and money and energy all right okay so like i said we have this in the recording you know so perfect <laughs> so yeah. let's talk let's talk about um you know what's uh interesting is that you being in the medical field so you were in the medical field uh basically you know back in ukraine being a nurse and then working in the pharmacy here as well why did you choose this profession being uh be, being a nurse it is not easy profession it is taking care of people it is uh you know it is doing things you know the dirty work as well you know so why did you pick that profession uh because i would like i'm love it i'm love it they care about the people who is the body to me uh, i'm the care of about my family about my son um, I'm, uh, if you he feel something like flu or something like not comfortable i give it the him pills i know what kind of pills he, he needed like, so you know you actually do know how to cure with the medicine yeah you know, you're not... yeah pills and herbals and the everything stuff yeah it's like uh, i i know what what exactly okay so you being uh now in united states do you have any projects in your country in ukraine are you helping anybody anybody there 
uh, I would like to help uh, not only one for my, my family. I would like to help some somebody else. And now it's like I have a day. Grandma find it it's like by store. He like he he was homeless and carry her right now and descended the for help her. I'm sending money for food. I'm sending money for uh, for her because she's like 87 years old. And you're helping with the medicine as well. So you're helping with the, uh, you know, with some of the medicine. Everything, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. paying for the, your help there. And I, I think so if you do, one people can make it like support for somebody else. It's like in, in Ukraine, not be homeless. Yeah, so uh, basically what Ilona is saying that she's working with, uh, well, it's not really work, it's just uh, she uh, she pulls the money out of her own pocket and helping the elderly ones. There's, you know, several people that she's uh, working with in Ukraine. And, uh, you know, she said, she mentioned, you mentioned really, really one thing that is very important. You said, you know, you prefer to give to someone directly, you know, not through the charity organization or something, but uh, because when you give directly, you really know where the money goes, you really know uh, how it is being spent and that is being used for the good purpose. Not just, uh, you know, when you're given to this through the charity, you are not being directly involved. You just kind of given that easy. But when you are directly involved in helping the elderly ones, of course, taking care of the elderly ones is not easy. How would you like to spend the time with a special someone? So you are, you have really beautiful heart. Uh, you, I mean, you are gorgeous, of course. I mean, look at you. If I was a man, I would be like, oh, oh marry me <laughs> right now, <laughs> without even finishing this video interview. <laughs> but let's talk about how would you like you, to. You feel my, you feel my, uh, my energy. I feel your energy. I feel your energy. Yes, I know how to read the energy of people. I know you got plenty. <laughs> You got plenty of that. <laughs> the right type of energy. <laughs> so let's talk about how do you, what type of the things that you would like to do with, um, you know, with your special someone? What type of things would you like to enjoy doing together? Uh, for my future man. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, I'm love to travel. I'm travel. I'm love to travel a lot everywhere. Like, uh, I, I would like to know the, Mm, history of the country, each country where it was, it's like, I'm going to like, I, I, I say like one week, two weeks, three weeks, and I would like to know exactly the, how's the starting, how's the, like, the war, it's like, what's the people like it eat, what the eat, eat, people going, like some local people, and would like to talk to the people. And uh, so you would like to experience. You yeah. like to experience the culture, actually living their country, uh, culture, no matter where you travel. Yes. Yes. I, okay. Uh, and I would like to spend time with my future man. Uh, if you, of course, I'm tired to work. Uh, I, I, for my travel, uh, like my dream, travel a lot. But I know that in America I have to work sometimes. Listen, you're working like 20 hours a day, you know, but we'll get to that. Hold on one second. So do you like, uh, do you like to, uh, you, uh, fishing? Oh, I'm like, I'm love it fishing. I'm love it fishing. I'm, uh, I'm try fishing like any country where I was, but my favorite, uh, fishing was there in Cancun. Many, many times. Wow. Okay. I, I, I cannot imagine you with a fishing pole, quite honestly. <laughs> but I mean, that, that, all you need to do is just stand there on the shore and all of the fish will come there. You know, your men just need to collect it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So Attraction. Many, so many ways, you know, I can make like, uh, be like boss. I can make it be like girls. <laughs> it's like the same time, you know. But with me, never be, uh, never be, uh, Board. Board, board, yeah. Yes, okay. And uh, so you like board games, you like uh, domino, domino. I, I haven't met, quite honestly, I haven't met the girls who like to play domino, really. <laughs> <laughs> Bowling, <laughs> billiard, <laughs> pool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you like to shoot pool, you like to play pool, so it's uh, billiards. You like to play, what, bowling, right? So basically all different types of activities. 
yeah, but my favorite, uh, unlike the bicycle, by by Ush. But I don't know. It's like I can take too many energy from Ush. I don't you, know why. You like the ocean. That's my dry. It's my drugs. Yeah. Yeah, so you are, uh, you are, uh, you know, you are from the Black Sea, basically. Uh, Odessa is right on the sea as well, and you are, you are in the, um, in Los Angeles as well, of course, right, right by the ocean. Do you actually consider like heading to a different place in different state for the right connection and for true love? Oh, I'm not thinking about that. I'm love with uh, the Miami. Uh, I'm when I coming to United States, I would like to change uh, town. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm thinking and my, myself, and I know it's Miami is very, very close to like 24 hours. They go out, they go to the party and go to the oceans. Like, and like, Ilona, you never be work with this town. <laughs> you have to stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are, you are working a lot. You're working a lot. Of course, uh, you know, in the resort areas like uh, Florida, Miami, touristic areas, it is very difficult to focus on work. But listen, uh, I know that you work a lot, but if you had a chance right now to meet a man who is, let's say, retired and said, you know what, let's just travel, let's just enjoy life, you know, uh, you don't have to work 20 hours a day. Take a break, girl, you know, I will take care of things. You don't work, you don't have to work 20 hours a day anymore. Would you take that opportunity and say yes I'm to that? I'm agree. <laughs> yes? Okay, yes. so she agreed right here on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and at the same time, you have really uh, high work ethics because you can, uh, you know, you. I know that you are working a lot. So you can practically also start business together with your partner if this is what you guys decide to do as well, right? So you're open to, you know, towards different opportunities, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very, very easygoing. I'm very uh, flexible. It's like, uh, for, for me, uh, people who is connect with me, it's like not feeling like uncomfortable because I'm, I need to be diplomatic. Yeah, yeah, you are very diplomatic. You're a very uh, harmonious person. Yeah, so you, uh, it's very comfortable to be around you. Absolutely, absolutely. So you will bring that harmony and life and energy to uh, to the man's life. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. So how ready are you to meet uh, to to meet that special man? I know that you you've been traveling. I mean, there, this is probably the question that everybody who is looking at you right now. How such a gorgeous girl and uh, she is uh, single, you know? And it is a really good question. But I know your story that you actually spend a lot of time in Ukraine, you know, with your business, and you have to you have to travel. Right now, she has to travel back and forth. She does, you know. And when you are always on the go, it is very difficult to form the stable relationship. But now you have a chance looking at this girl, you have a chance to change her life and say, you know what, honey, come on here. You know, you don't need to go like uh, go crazy back, back flying back uh, to Ukraine. Uh, you know, just let's take it easy because you deserve it. You know, for um, uh, Ilona, when she got here to this country where, with a six year old son, now who is, uh, you know, 22 years old, uh, independent, independent boy. And he is so handsome. My God, uh, I met him. I met him. He is so handsome I, but i mean look at the jeans right <laughs> the jeans are sitting right here <laughs> great jeans <laughs> so but she really does deserve a break she really does deserve to really devote the time to you know to herself because she didn't have this opportunity raising a child on her own being a single mom and raising the child on her own in the new country where she didn't speak a word of english uh where she had to figure things out where her father uh her father brought her there and he said you know here's one month of rent of the apartment and here's half broken car and you figure it out and she did she didn't have another choice but this woman does really deserves a little break so we're looking for yeah, that strong man about, i'm forgetting about the story because like the life is going going on it's like i have to it, the the people cannot stay i i'm telling you the honestly it's like i can't st stay and the um, one place I have to like all the time moving, 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 moving because like uh, if you st step by, if you be thinking about, if you be feel sorry of yourself, it's nothing happening. You know? so, yes. Uh, America don't like these people who's there. Yeah. America does not allow foreigners to survive here if they just feel sorry for themselves. United States all, only gives the opportunity to the ones who are working their butt off. Yes. And well, 
you know what united states does make women uh a lot stronger you know and which this is what you are you know that i know that you're not going to fall apart if the difficulties do happen and i do know you do know your life uh relatively well you know for the last uh, for the last couple of years the type of things that you went through you know so but you are strong you're beautiful and gosh and somebody is going to be very very lucky to get a girl who will bring this outstanding energy into his life ilona thank you so much for sharing your story with us you know thank you so much for sharing the information with us and let's get busy to get this man the lucky lucky man in your life huh yeah if he did he find me yeah i think so he'd be he'd, he'd be lucky <laughs> <I'll> be like- <laughs> That's right. She is 10 out of 10. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, she's absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So the woman like her, she really does give 100% to her man. That is the way her personality is. But she needs a 100% giver as well. So if you being lonely if you really feel the connection with this special girl that you saw right now and you want to get to know her better and you want to give your 100% partnership 100% of your energy to this special woman then please let me know so right below this video are my contact details and this girl this is my commitment to her okay this is my commitment to her to help her to meet the special someone within the next few months so she is that ready to meet the special man in her life and finally take a break break from her crazy crazy busy lifestyle so be that person to really free up this woman and allow her to give all of her love, all of her care, all of her energy to you. Let me know of your interest and right here below this video, my contact details. So let me get you guys introduced.